What's going on guys? My name is James Collects and if you'll find me for the first time, I am both a nerdy collector and an eBay reseller. We have a Sunday car boot haul time which is nowhere near as good as it was last week. However, I'm still not going to complain. So first up we have a selection of board games bought from several different people. Uh, they all cost me £10 each. So we have a... Oh, that way around. We've got a Cluedo from the Natural History Museum. A retail price of £30. As far as I'm aware, there you, you can only get this from the Natural History Museum. So, yeah, ten pounds. I'll probably stick it on eBay for about twenty-five, um, including delivery. Uh, that should leave me more than ten pounds profit in it. Um, and yeah, undercuts Natural History Museum. Uh, by the looks of it, they had a few bits. They were just having a massive clear out. We also have a Trivial Pursuit Family Edition. This is going straight to Amazon FBA. I've been meaning to do it for ages, um, but I've just not gone around to actually sending anything out. So this will be going straight to Amazon, which I think the return is almost £30 or something ridiculous. So yeah, that's going to Amazon. And then we have Monopoly Empire, which we're going on to eBay. Slightly more obscure item. Uh, one of the last ones I picked up is uh, this is an Iron Maiden phantom of the opera 2 um eddie figure made by necker uh, paid 10 pounds there's the the figure al alone someone's asking 20 pounds i don't think he's actually ever going to get 20 pounds uh, and then brand new and sealed is about 70 pounds uh, from america so i'm probably going to go for about 40 pound all in with this it dismantles as well which makes life a lot easier for packaging less chance of things getting broken but yeah uh, that's quite cool and that was £10 and then there was a guy who turned up with a load of retro stuff he sells at the Saturday car boot every now and then today he was there with his with his brother uh, so as you can imagine uh, he got swamped quite quickly I managed to go through and just sort of take out little bits and pieces he wasn't asking amazingly cheap prices he knew what was there uh, PS1 games were a pound each um, I don't think I picked up any of those in the end no I didn't um, and then DVDs were like £1.50 or something stupid. But for everything you're about to see, I paid £30. First up is Dora the Explorer for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, it comes with the game and the manual, but no cardboard inlay, which is a little bit annoying, but I can live without that. It's, it's a game that I haven't got, so it's going in the personal collection. I've even managed to put these into piles as well. So we have... Avengers Assemble Blu-ray, Avengers Assemble DVD, Iron Man DVD, Guardians of the Galaxy DVD, Ant-Man, Captain America the Winter Soldier, Captain America the First Avenger, Thor the Dark World, and Thor Ragnarok. So as you may have well guessed, that was all the Marvel stuff. Now we're going to look at all the Disney stuff. Toy Story 3, The Return of Jafar, Sleeping Beauty, Aladdin, the Sword in the Stone, Toy Story 3, 101 Dalmatians, Peter Pan, Finding Dory, Peter Pan, Alice in Wonderland, and Return to Neverland. Also got a manual for Turk 3 on the N64, and got a few games as well. So we have Minecraft uh, Story Mode Season 1 for Xbox 360, brand new and sealed, should be looking at around 16 to 20 pounds. Grabbed by the Ghoulies on the Xbox original. Uh, trading price is quite low. However, this sells for around £5. So it's a fairly uncommon game as far as Xbox goes. But I'm fairly certain I don't have this. So this will be going into the personal collection. Tekken Tag. Super Paper Mario. And Dark Souls 2 Steelbook for the Xbox 360. Which I'm fairly sure I don't have this. So again, personal collection. Then last but not least, I did a trade with someone else. Um, earlier this year, I picked up... No, it might have been last year. No, this year. I picked up a moon room thing, like a nightlight. That's a moon that goes from full moon to to whatever the smallest bit is, like crescent, semi-crescent, mini new crescent, something or other. Um, so I gave that to a fellow car booter, and in exchange... Uh, today I got Quake 3 Revolution on the PS2, uh, Tack the Great Juju Challenge, and there was also uh, Super Mario, Super Super Mario, 
on the DS cart only, but I'm fairly certain I have the inserts and the, the actual case itself at the lockup. So that works out quite nicely. So that cost me two pound um, because I already gave him the, the moon earlier on in the year. And there we go. That is the whole of this car boot done. So I reckon we've managed to, to get away with quite a quick video today, although there's probably loads and loads of editing. But that is it from me. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I will see you lovely lot in the next video. Good gaming and happy collecting. Adios.